Zirion Pharma is a Danish pharmaceutical development company aiming to address one of the most critical challenges in pharmaceutical industry, namely the poor water solubility of drugs. They have an innovative technology named Dispersome. And Ulle Vibori, the CEO, is here with me to tell us more about Zirion Pharma. Welcome, Ulle. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. So tell me, what is this challenge you're addressing and how is your approach? Well, um, people don't talk much about it, but actually when you go from the discovery phase to development, clinical development, most small molecule drugs, they are poorly soluble. And if you cannot increase the solubility, they will not be taken up by the body. So you need to do this in order to increase the absorption. And this is what we can do with our disposome technology. So you increase the dose, so the absorption level uh, we, goes higher. We improve the solubility and then the absorption, so you get a higher concentration in the blood, and that's very important for the efficacy of the drug. And uh, your technology is called Dispersome. How is it different from other technologies it's a completely, out there? It's a completely new uh, concept. We combine the drugs with proteins, and we make these amorphous solid dispersions. We have actually studied this at Uppsala University and uh, we know the mechanism quite well. And what differentiates it from other approaches is that it's a natural, a natural protein. It's a, a different mechanism, so you can actually bind many more compounds. It's more it's stabilizing the, the drug compounds better and it's increasing the solubility much more, meaning that you can actually reduce the dose and you can also reduce the number of tablets because of this. So it's a very uh, it's a competitive technology. Which has environmental impact as well. Yes, because uh, by reducing the dose, you will reduce the, the toxic waste, both at the site of production, but also at the site of usage. For example, patients that receive oncology products, when they uh, go to the toilet, they will, uh, if, they, if, they, if the drug is not absorbed, they will actually have a lot of waste in the urine, uh, for example. And this is also a burden for the environment that we can reduce. And uh, you have some cooperation, collaborations, partners right now? Yes, we have actually had a very significant interest from the pharma industry in general. And we have partnerships with top 20 pharma companies that are moving very well. We also have a very important strategic partnership with Hovion, that's a Portuguese uh, manufacturer, actually the global leader in this field. And uh, they have invested several million euros in developing the technology together with us. And now we are working closely together to exploit the technology, not only for one field, but for several fields. It can be exploited both for marketed drugs, but also for new drugs in particular. And it can be used for drugs in the inhalation space and also for nutraceuticals. So there are many projects where we have seen the benefit of this technology. So what are the coming milestones you're seeing ahead? We are waiting for the first Dispersion product to be launched in 27, and the registration application hopefully will be submitted already next year. So we are very close to uh, having, say, the commercial breakthrough. We already completed one human study, or one of our partners did, and this was with excellent results. That's amazing. So what should um, investors expect from you if they want to invest today? They should expect a very nice uh, markup in the value, and um, they should expect to see more projects, see commercial traction over the next six to 12 months, that we are getting even more projects in. And that's going to solidify the company because we have so many, let's say, legs to stand on. Yeah, and uh, it's a big market, right? You said like um, about 70% of these APIs have the solubility problem. Where are you focusing and what is your niche market? We don't have any particular focus from a therapeutic perspective, except that we know in the oncology space there's a need for more convenient dosing. That could be reducing the dose, having fewer tablets because the patients are suffering from having to take every day not only one tablet, but like 8, 10, 12 tablets. Uh, that's one area. We can also combine some drugs in one tablet. So that's where I think we, we can make the biggest difference. And then, of course, in the new drug development, we can enable the, the pharma companies to 
even make it to the market because they, there are quite a few cases where you have not been able to develop a drug because of this solubility issue. And that's where we can make a, a real difference. And does it work with all kinds of uh, medicine or? It works at, for more than 80% of the drugs, uh, in, at least in our hands, and we can probably increase that to 90%. So it is a very, say, broadly applicable te technology. And for example, in the cannabinoid field, where you have worked for many years to improve solubility, we have also seen some really, really impressive results. So, so we are confident that this is going to be maybe not a game changer in the industry, but we are going to make a very significant contribution to solve this problem. Back to the market, where are you going to launch first? I cannot comment on this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, well. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for yeah. being with us today. And uh, I wish you a uh, very good luck. Thank Thanks you so much. much. Yeah. Bye.